One person there are putting up flex, another person there are putting up in maktab and madrasa. One person there are employing TV workers, one person there are bringing one alim to come and teach my children Quran. One person went fully for the world, one person went to the heavens. We are enjoying deen today because Allah look at the beginning of the surah was Gariyati Garwa. Allah Qur'an takes qasam at the beginning. Ulama has mentioned that the oath, the qasam, the oath what the entire surah is. It got the proof behind the surah. It got the whole picture of the surah. Four qasams are taken, four oaths. In the four oaths, me and you will understand how we survive until now and how we will survive beyond Allah Taala speaks about what makes the world survive, earth. Why is it that every time when the ground is dead, what brings it alive? Think of these four qasams, these four oaths, and then think about it in the issue of deen. And as I will explain it, I want one, one of us to make this intention that oh Allah, what is being spoken about, people going upwards, people looking to the sky, Allah, let me or let my children be among those people. What Dariyati Garwa, Almighty Allah says, by the oath of those winds that come, and it starts pushing everything up. Ulama has written that the system of this world is whether you call it gravity or whether you call it things must stay down, we all attach to the earth. But in school, we all do something called evaporation. What makes it go up? Allah Taala says, by the oath of the winds that lifts up that stand, and it lifts up whatever is being sent up. Some things you see, some things you don't see. But evaporation means that there is things going up, although no one sees it. If that evaporation doesn't take place, the world is not going to see water tomorrow. Allah Taala ensures for the world's preservation. Water will be lifted to the sky, although the whole world is pulling everything down. Allah, for the preservation of His being, ensures that there will be the winds of Iman that will always blow. And as that wind blows, jazba, interest, inclination is created in young young children. The whole world is pulling them to the ground. Schools and universities are in clubs and movies and games, everything is calling the child. The world of the shaitan understands the biggest threat to its regime is that small five-year-old child running around. A child has no strength, but as that water is lifted and you don't even see it being lifted, it becomes a gas and it's gone. Allah Taala creates inspiration in the hearts of people. You don't see that inspiration. Look in South Africa today. Once upon a time, even for Tarawi, we had to look for people to come and read Quran. Allah Taala created what a wind of iman that South Africa today can send boys from this country around the world to read Quran. We never saw it when it was happening because no one sees the evaporation. Jazba was created. When that jazba was created, as the world could not keep that water down, the world will never manage to. Child down, Allah Taala says, stand up. May Allah Taala let it be my child and your child become the next evaporation of the summa. The inclination to go up to the heavens. Well, Dariya ki darwa, Shah Ismail Shahid when he started the harakah of iman against the time when the British were in India, it was thought that no one will ever defeat the British. It was called an empire on which the sun never sets. Because wherever the sun was setting, it's rising somewhere else. That part was also there. That part was also there. They had taken the world. He started a harka of iman against them. He took out his hands and he said, "Who will make the pledge of fighting against this regime?" A book was written on that. The name of the book was Hazrat Muhammad Abul Hasan Ali Nabi Rahmatullah wrote. Unique book he wrote. Ila habbat riyah al iman. When the wind of iman blew, जब ईमान की हवा चली, when the wind of iman blew, recently a translation was made of the book. Just the book itself will make you feel the jazba of iman. Imagine if you were in 
in that era when the wind of Iman blew, the result of that wind blowing, blowing, he passed away in the battle. They never defeated the British. They were destroyed, they were killed, they were martyred. They blood watered the fields for Iman. The time came when the British were kicked out of India. Those Falama who made that final said this is the barqa of Shah Ismail Shaheed and the haraka of Iman. By the qasam of those winds that send it up. Meaning there will always be a wind of Iman that will be playing in Jazba. If you find in your child an inclination to learn Quran, an inclination to study Deen, an inclination just to stay pure, your daughter or your son, do not be that evil person who tries to keep that water down. Because if that water is not going to rise, Allah will make some other water rise. The Ummah will remain getting water from the heavens. It will be mine and your honor if we allow our children to be the ones to be taken up. What the reality is that the devotee of those winds that take everything up although the whole world tries to keep it down. Falhamila al-Yukara And then by the oath of those very very heavy clouds Hamal is to carry Vikra is a burden to be forged Something extremely weighty As the world day of science that what that cloud is What it got within it And how it's holding it They will say thousands and thousands of liters in that cloud But that cloud moves so much of support when the winds of Iman blow, perhaps you went to school, you went to university, perhaps you became a chartered accountant, you became a master of the sciences of this world, but I guarantee you one thing, that person who studied the knowledge of Quran and Sunnah, he carries that burden on his shoulders, which all the sciences of this world cannot understand. Just the Quran itself, on his revelation, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's entire body would go into perspiration. He was on a camel, the camel would just stop and sit. It was a hot, it was an extremely cold day. Aisha radiallahu anha said he would lift up. The heat of that wahi was so much. His head was on the lap of Zayd bin Sabi radiallahu anha. Hazrat Zayd radiallahu anha thought if Allah does not move his head, my shell, my knee is going to give in. Allah Subhanahu then revealed, Lo anzalna al Quran. And if this Quran had to be allowed to be falling on anything besides the heart of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you would have found mountains shattered. Allah Subhanahu Wa diluted this Quran for the whole world. But what a diluted Quran there is a carry of this Qur'an and the meaning of this Qur'an. You might see an alim, you might be a scholar, you might just look at him as a man like the rest, he laughs like you laugh, he talks like you talk. But to Allah, what he carries within his heart. Imam Muhammad Rahimullah, when he passed away, someone saw him in a dream, he asked, how did he pray? He said, I stood in front of Almighty Allah. And Allah Tabarullah said, and had I not wished to be kind to you, I would never have given you the knowledge of Islam. This is a knowledge that not only looks after one individual, it creates a light within the person. Wherever he moves, he moves with light. Wherever light goes, darkness is removed. He carries himself up in a time of fitan. He removes other people from fitan. He pulls himself out of the fire. He pulls other people out of the fire. By the oath of those clouds that are carrying millions of liters of water, by that very oath, Allah will ensure that in this ummah there will always be so many scholars high in the sky who will be carrying the water for the next ummah to come. The deen will never die. May Allah let it be that my child and your child become those clouds of the future. Waiting for that water, carrying that water, moving in such a unique manner that you look at them and you say it's another cloud. But that cloud for whatever the word means. Allah says, and then by the oath of those winds who take 
meet the clouds where the clouds have to go. Have you ever seen that cloud just letting the water come down? Allah Tawarqa wants some rain to fall on a distant land, that cloud will be taken to the land. By the very oath of the winds which take the clouds to where water is needed, the deen of Islam has ensured that there will be scholars who will be moved around the world. And wherever they is a thirst, Allah Tawarqa somehow or the other will take the scholar or the writing of the scholar or the voice of the scholar, the works of the scholar, whether it's through jamaats, whether it's through students, whether it's through books, whether it's through audio, whether it's through whatever media we have today, somewhere around the world that cloud will be brought where you will never imagine. You will go to some of the most remote places in the world where you will think deen could never ever have reached here. And those people will say, one Jamaat also came here. One scholar came here. I visited one place. I don't know how we landed up in that Bundu area. We didn't know where that dream also was there. In that area, some people came to meet me. And they took out their phone. In their phone, they found the scholar is coming here. What the devil made Allah Subhanahu allow deen to go through those very mediums and it would suggest that entire world. Their technology came only with an evil purpose. Only with an evil purpose. But the command of Almighty Allah, وَمَكَّرُوا How many flocks and friends they have? وَمَكَّرَ Allah, And do you think Allah has a part his plan? Allah Tawarqara system is when dua was, O oh Allah, make their destruction in their own land. Allahumma ja'al tadmeerahum fi tadmeerihim. In their own plan, Allah make the destruction. One example of this dua you want to see the entire world of what we call the web. It was a web to pull everyone in. Allah used that very web to pull some people into Iman. Where they thought Iman will never reach. There was a time where a Muslim would never manage to go to a non-Muslim house and give that non-Muslim boy in her dawah. Allah Taala allowed the wind of Iman to move. That girl on the internet, which was an invited towards the vice of the world. Hardly on the internet you will find anything clean about Islam. Even if you type Islam, you will get everything wrong about Islam. But when Allah wants something to be found, even in the filth and the dirt of the shaitani world, deen will find its way also. By the custom of those clouds that will go wherever it has to go, wherever water is needed, the cloud is reaching. Allah has taken the mission, the decision, the responsibility, and the deen will reach wherever the deen has to go. May Allah Taala let my child and your child become that moving cloud. What an honor it is for that father who saw his son growing up, becoming a scholar becoming a dari, becoming a hafiz, and then that son said, Oh my father, people have traveled in the world for worldly deeds. Me, I want to make hijrat for the deen of Allah. I want to go to another country just for Allah's deen. Falha bilah bi yukra, Allah said, Have you seen those clouds carrying the water and how we move them around the world? That child has become a cloud moving around the world. Falha bilah bi and then Allah Tawarqala says that by the Qasab, by the oath of those winds that, that distribute the command of Almighty Allah to whenever it has to go. Now finally when the time comes for rain, what happens? Wherever that cloud reaches, it is now called rain. And as it rains, that's not the end now. As that water comes down, it creates another world. The dead land comes back to life. Where there was no green, now green has come. Now the seed has become into a plant. The plant got so many other seeds. Now that fruit has come out with its own. Now everyone is eating, everyone is enjoying. In the reign of one, there is the life of another nation. Just the four oaths, what to number one say, as the world of what we call dunya has never come to an end. Although the system of the world is keep everything to itself, 
But Allah's one command and the wind had to blow. Just with the wind blowing, the entire system moved. And until today, this world hasn't come to an end. As the physical world has not come to an end, the spiritual Islam is not going to come to an end. No matter what effort will be made to try to keep it down, whether it was wealth, whether it was pictures, whether it was pretty girls, one command of Allah will come blow and the winds of Iman will make a revolution. May Allah Tawarqala allow me and you to be part of it. Allow our children to be part of those waters. Allow our children to reign and let the next world enjoy the reign of them. And in South Africa, by the fadl and the kindness of Allah, Allah Tawarqala gave nearly every masjid, you will find a his class in in every town you will find a maktab. In every place you will find a chance to become that water ready to go to the sky. The only thing is look up. Show an inclination that I also want to go. Whether we can go or not, the wind will then look. Those people who looked at the scholar with admiration, if they did not themselves become a scholar, Allah allowed their children to become scholars. And that person who looked at the scholar with disgrace and contempt, even in his family, his grandfather and great father, they were scholars. Allah removed scholars from his project. Look at an army of deen with admiration, and Allah will make your child or your grandchild amongst the clouds in the sky also. Look up with admiration to the sky. This is those clouds. Allah Tawarqala says, Inna ma tu'adun ala salih wa inna deen ala waqih Remember whatever you have been promised is definitely going to happen. A lot of promises we got. One of those promises was when Sahaba radiallahu wa wali and when they heard of the fitan of the jar, when they heard how terrible it would be, how you will have galba over all places, power over all, authority over all, one voice in the whole world must listen. One movement that the whole world must see. One army that will keep everyone in control. And they would wonder how at that time when it was in the night. An ayat of Quran was revealed, Ma hum biba alihi. Allah said, they got very high hopes, but they are not going to reach where they want to reach. Ma hum biba alihi. Fastarih billah. You will find yourself in a major calamity problem. And if you say, Oh Allah, protect, then it's a miraculous deed this year that no matter how terrible the next era is going to be, when every place I go, people ask, Has COVID come to an end? Because that's what the world is going to say. In the next two months, when the vaccination that will come out, it will be the end of COVID. From our side, I am telling you, it's just the beginning. It is just the beginning. World War II ended and the world thought this is the end of the war. Whoever saw what happened after the war, they would say, until the war, there was a lot of physical lives taken. After the war, it was spiritual life. The war never ended, it only began. The problem was, when the physical war was fought, everyone noticed. When the spiritual attack takes place, everyone is sleeping. COVID has not ended, and it will not end with the vaccination, it's only going to start. A new era will start in the world where Iman will be as cheap as paper. What you heard in the past where a person will sleep at night and the next morning will say, I'm not a Muslim daddy. By the fadl of Allah, we never saw it, but I told you that aeroplane being high doesn't mean it will always stay high. The day the aeroplane crashes, it crashes and it spoils a lot of other lives. One boy in a family who says, I don't like Iman. Don't think your child will become a Christian. He's not going to become a Christian. There's no Christianity left. There's no Judaism left. There is atheism and Satanism. There is atheism and Satanism. In the school, that boy's mind is taken to an atheist level. 
But an atheist is one who believes that everything is happening with nothing. No mind can ever accept that. As soon as he reaches that level, then the next step is Satanism. He sees the powers of the shayateen. He sees the power of the devil. On every side of the internet is invited into a new world. You can call it the dark web. You can call it white magic. You can call it black magic. You can call it new types of remedies and treatments. You can call it vision swing ethaki. Whatever name you want to call it, it is into the world of Satanism. Perhaps it was 1780. That was years before we even ever ever thought at that time how many preparations would be made. 1780, 1789, I'm not sure exactly. It was called the rights of freedom of man. The rights of freedom of man. Perhaps it was the same thing, Magma Kata, whatever they call it. I'm sure in school somewhere around the right where I heard about it. So the very big thing, the rights of the, 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 the charter of the freedom of rights, something like this. So the very big thing in the world, I wasn't in one country, it was that day when this bill was passed. So my friend, he took me to a certain place and I saw so many schools coming. He said, no, today is a public holiday because on this day this bill was passed. Freedom of rights, the freedom of the rights of men, freedom. So because of that day being a holiday, everywhere you were seeing a charter, whatever they call it, the magma charter, whatever it was called. And then all it was written in another language and then you have a translation in English. But right on top of that rights, there was a fairy. And on the other side, I forgot what it was. And in the middle, there was a pyramid. And in the center of the pyramid was an eye. And from the eye, you had light going out. So I just looked at that and I said to my friend, whose eye do you think it is? So he was wondering, I said, you studied. Did you not read all those ahadith where Allah is the name of Allah said, remember, your Allah has only got one eye. He said, that's your eye of the child. He said, what that eye got to do with the rights of freedom of man? It means man must become so free, so free, so free. And no longer can his mother tell him what to do, he's free. His father cannot tell him what to do, he's free. And there is no way his creator can tell him what he wants. That is the meaning of the rights of man. At that time when it came out, perhaps even Muslims took part on that day, it was a public holiday. You could see so many Muslims bringing, Muslim teachers bringing their children and explaining to them what the day it was. When man's rights, freedom of rights, that's what we all want. How it helps a person, because if I want to perform salah today, such a, and they want to stop me, I will say, you can't, man is free to do what he wants, it helps me. The world was so happy, but the eye of the devil on top showed that that was not the purpose of the rights. What was the purpose is what we're going into in the next 10 years. What we're going into, when your son will come to you and say, Daddy, I want to marry John. And when you will say to him, you can't do a thing man. And the whole world will say he's free to do what he wants. You are not free to stop him. He's free to do. You are not free to speak against him in the masjid. He is free to speak against you wherever he is. Freedom is not open freedom for all. But it is called selected freedom. And if you want to be a Satanist, you free. You want to be a Muslim, get ready to be locked up. You want to walk around naked, you free. You want to put on the niqab, we'll give you a fine. Put on your scarf and we'll tell you what are you up to. Take out your scarf and you'll say this is the freedom of man. Freedom from what? It was freedom from the shackles of what was called being Allah to becoming, becoming the devil. At that time, the rights of man was put there with the eye of the devil. But perhaps even the devil never perhaps thought how terrible the day would come. He waited and he waited. Allah's system was, we were going to see that day. We have entered or we entered into a certain period. Perhaps it will be a 10 to 15 
year period but be ready for the period. During this period, if you are on the ground, the ground is going to pull you. If you thought you will manage to stand, this is called quicksand, no one will stand. It's either you will be going to the sky and becoming water for the next Ummah, or you will be taken into the ground and destroyed. Darkness will come and light will also spread. But you will have two camps. A camp which comes in the narration. There will be a camp of Kufar and hypocrisy in which there will be no Iman. And there will be a camp of Iman in which there will be no hypocrisy. How until now we were like a half-half. I want my son to be good but not very wise. I want my daughter to know her numbers, but she must be a hapa. It works for a while, perhaps I can tell you, if your daughter hasn't got modesty and she's going to university, she has become a prostitute, although you don't know it. If you took her away her modesty, as the words of the narration said, modesty will go and do whatever you want. If your daughter hasn't got modesty, Forget sleeping with another boy. She will end up sleeping with other girls. And the day you will be like, you will take the aeroplane crash. The thing was, there was no fuel holding our nose Our next period is not going to be the easiest period. When the narration said at night a believer will wake up as a non-believer, the world was going to see in his guidance, let us not have to sleep. There will always be the wind of Iman that is going to make something go up. Make so much of dua for your children that they must get a jazbah. They must get a jazbah to look to the sky. Thereafter, you become a doctor, a lawyer, a scientist, whatever you want to become. Your Iman will be protected as long as you look up. But look to the world and you lose everything. Protection of our Iman in the next few days, how will it happen? Allah Tawakkara says, وَالسَّمَاءِ ذَاتِ الْحُبُقِ إِنَّكُمْ لَفِي قَوْلِ مُخْتَلِفِ By the oath of that sky, look at that sky. And look at the unique colors of the sky. And how it changes every day. But that sky which brings down waters which life to the world, that sky also brings down thunder, lightning and floods which bring destruction to the world. Look at the sky. When that sky will create malaris and scholars and iman saving people, it is the system of Allah who allows fitna also to spread in the world. That sky will also come with its floods. That beautiful sky, the people of Ar, the needed waters. They needed rain. They were sown at clouds. They were asked, you choose which cloud you want. They found one cloud which had the color they were looking for, full of water, dark. That cloud came, Allah Tawarukala described it. They said, Hala, Arimun, This is the cloud that will give us what we want, our water. Allah Tawarukala said, Bal huwa masta'ajantum bi. Rather, this is the cloud that will it is only winds and punishments. You look at those clouds, you look at the sky. Sometimes that sky looks so innocent, but tomorrow when those rains come, it wipes away an entire nation. In the next few years, you will see beautiful, beautiful pictures. You will see new cities. You will see a modern world. You will see something called Vision 2030. You will forget COVID ever existed. You will see a city of the future, a city of peace. You will hear politicians who are robbing the country blind. They are all pushed away. We will all get happy. But no one will think that only now they got there. Only now. Stealing for so many years, they were those accountants. A thief is only caught when the bigger thief wants to get him caught. 
When he gets caught, what will happen? He has to step down. When he steps down, whether it's stepping down with pain or without pain, there's no difference because we pay in many cases. But somebody else will take his position. That somebody else is no longer going to steal the money of the country. But they're not stealing the money, it doesn't mean they won't try to steal Iman of the world. In the next chapter, you will see politicians around the world good. No longer wrong. You will not see America having someone who can't calculate. You will find someone who talks and says, wow. But he could be a bigger devil than the last one. He could be a bigger devil. Just because of the tongue being sweet, it doesn't mean when the sky looks smart today, it doesn't come on the flood tomorrow. Don't ever become so lax with any politician. Because the question will be that who caught the other one? And what made him only get caught now? All the news was already there. Who leaked the information? They could have leaked it a long time ago. Why was it leaked only when they needed it to be leaked? Why so much of information is gathered but you couldn't stop the guy when he was stealing, though you let him sleep when he was? Why when COVID started in South Africa, so much money was brought in? It was put in front of what was known as Rome. You in your own house, you will not put money in front of your normal worker, even if your worker never stole. When they put money, you think they can not to steal. They let him take it. They let him get caught. They let him be moved and another one will come in. But when the other one comes, when one collective voice, if they talk, may Allah save us, it must not be that our money gets saved and our iman gets lost. Don't ever look at the sky and say that the next day is the best. The sky comes with the water of the future and it comes with the flood also. When Allah saw clouds, He came to the masjid. He would read Salah, Sahaba, and he would say, Why? He says, Have you not heard of nations of the past, how are they destroyed? The Ummah has been saved from a destruction on totality. But Iman destruction, we have not been given guarantee. Everyone has to protect his own Iman. When you will see those skies, Allah says, by the oath of the sky, which looks so unique in its different fragments. Every day a different color. But because it is blue, doesn't mean it is innocence. When you will see a man talking beautiful talk, you must also be ready to see the devil behind his words. One person wrote very nicely, he said, when the international media all of them say the same thing at the same time. Then you must know it's a lie to take from you. Whenever news has to take place, it has to be something new. If one auntie knows about what happened there and she told the story, that is called old news. The next auntie is looking for something new. When the world holds old news, and they say it so many times and so loudly. It means it's a lie that has to be made the whole world. When every scientist in the world, when every doctor, and not every, but the ones that they want you to hear. When the theory of Darwin, of evolution was pushed in the world, today those professors who taught it at that time are writing, that even when I taught the theory of revolution in university, of evolution, I myself did not believe it. But I was told if you don't teach it, we will just take you out and somebody else will teach it. For that high amount of money, the professor said, so what? As long as I get my bucket, whatever I have to teach, even if it means saying my grandfather was a donkey. The theory of evolution was taught by professors who later on all admitted that I myself do not believe it. A lie is spread in the world where one voice is hit. When Allah says a lot of that and he will speak and his voice will be heard in the east and the west. 
north and the south, one story fall. Cover was one story fall. And what's going to happen after Cover will be even worse. Cover took away physical benefits. It brought crimes in so many houses. It made so many people see the most beloved of them suffering. And that suffering was made worse. When you see your father suffering, but they tell you, you cannot be with him in your last days. You stay at home, we look after him. No person will ever leave your beloved in the hands of the devil. Whatever happened, they happened. And after a while, they just said, last night you took a bad turn. Sorry, come and take it. Covered in such a manner that they even told you, don't open it. Everything was a lie. It was beastly from the beginning till the ending. And Allah, if they wanted to, they could have done one autopsy, one autopsy. They could have put on their space suit. They could have cut their body. And they could have said, what killed this person? And as soon as they picked it up, they could have saved thousands of more lives. But they were not out to save lives. In this thing, it was out to create a panic in the world. That your only savior is a vaccination that will come out perhaps at the end of 2020. And when that vaccination comes, run for it. Because otherwise you're dead. But the beast that killed our fathers, whoever died was COVID, and we saw those deaths when we went to those houses, we said to them, most likely this man got Shahada. Most likely he got Shahada. What he did to the inside, every narration of a martyr would have been found. In. The pain, the difficulty, far away from your family, when a person passed away, far away from his family, the angels are told, count how many steps to his family, that his grave open up so wide at the beginning, it will go further. No one around you, that man who died all alone, Allah is his companion from the beginning to the end. No Muslim for so many people. A Sahabi Rani Allah passed away in a battle. A martyr gets no Muslim. But he was in need of a bath. He had just had relations with his wife. They never have water like how we have. The call was made for the battle. He never thought he'd die in the battle. He went for the battle. There was no husband. That husband even for the martyr is needed. He had no husband. He passed away. Allah Sallallahu looked up. He saw the angels giving him husband. He said to Sahaba Allah, go and find out what is the condition of the man who the angels are giving him husband. His wife was shy. She said he had relations. He did not have a day to take husband. That believer who needed a husband and the world could not give it, Allah made the angels, you give him a husband. Whoever passed away in Kovar, not in all. It was a physical attempt, whoever passed away in the battles of World War I and II, and majority were Muslim. They died looking after the borders of Islam, craving to save the Khilafah. It was not men, they died for that. They all got their martyrdom. After the World War, after the COVID, when the war on Iman is going to take place, may Allah let it not happen that we survive the easy one and we're going to get knocked on the heart. Whoever died there got Shahada, whoever's Iman will be taken away in the next 10 years, there's no Jannah. There is no Jannah. Go forward into the future understanding that we are entering a new period of Satanism. Freedom has opened its hands. Me and you must look to the sky. We are not scared of Kufar because as this world has always seen a new spring, Wazariya evaporation will continue no matter how much the world says no. I will look in the eye of Kufar and you will say you have no power against the winds of Almighty Allah's command. But I must then to come. I must also wish to go to the skies. I must also be craving for the waters of Iman. I must not look towards Kufar and run towards Kufar. When evil speaks, I must be on my guard. When Iman speaks, my ear must open. 
When lions speak, I must look at their every sentence. When Quran speaks, I must open up my heart. I must run to my house to read two pages of Quran. Why? Because their poison will be wiped out with tilawas of this Quran. Whether I know its meaning or I don't know its meaning, whatever poison they feed me, just wipes it out. Allah Tawarullah in Quran says, فَقَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَا تَسْمَعُوا لِهَارِ الْقُرْآنِ The people of Kufa say, do not listen to this Quran. وَالْغَوْفِ make a lot of noise, entertainment. Only then you will get what you need. Meaning what? As long as the hour of this book takes place. This Quran is light. This Quran is your water. This Quran is your cloud. If the Quran is read in your house, there is no darkness in this house. If the Quran is read in your house, the shayateen who are evil are kept out that they are not brought inside. If the Quran is read, you will shine to the heavens and angels will be dressed like a star or something. Close the Quran and darkness immediately spreads. This is our answer for the future. This is our water for the next era. Even if I don't know the meaning, it's going to save me. And if my child knows the meaning, it's even better. I can make clouds in my own house. This is that cloud. In the community, all in Mukhtarif, Allah says, look at the sky. By the custom of the oath of the sky, it's got every part is unique. In the community, all in Mukhtarif. He says, but the house, the sky, got different parts. One part is destruction and one part is light. Man smokes from so are all the One is talking the talk of Jannah, one is talking the talk of the world. One is saying, save your body, the other is saying, and save your soul. One is saying, you need to become something, the other one is saying, you need to survive for something better. One is saying, make sure you take the best of the world, the other is saying, don't ever forget you got another world coming. Talks are completely different. Yukhaku aynu human kufi. Allah says, remember, the truth is so clear that there are certain people who will be tumbled away from the truth. They will just go rolling. Who are they? Who are they? Who are they? Al-Ladheena hum fi ghamrati sahoon. Allah says, Kharras, may Allah save us. May Allah make me and you become no slow. Let our children become no slow. May Allah save us, we do not become harass. What is harass? Guesswork. Guesswork means speaking of things which are beyond our understanding. Why did Quran come? What was the purpose of Wahi? Scholars have written that the beginning of revelation is when man's mind ends. When man's intellect cannot reach, revelation starts. A shaitani world created an environment. Forget the non-Muslim who know non-Muslim Christian believes the Bible. They've forgotten the Bible. Why? A mindset was created that they like, they preach life so much. So much they like that they don't blame the Christian. That if they anything, they deny their entire Christianity. So when he goes to church also he tells the priest, you know you sing those things but make sure it makes sense. All those other verses of the Bible that don't make sense, you just keep in one sense. Meaning my mind will just decide whether this is the word of God or it's not the word. If it appeals to my mind then you can carry on singing it. If it doesn't make sense, you just keep it in the book, it's not. But the Bible had gone through so many changes. Allah save us that today among the people of Iman, a mindset has been created like the Christian. That that part of Islam and Iman which appeals to my mind is Iman and Islam. If I hear anything in Iman and Islam which doesn't appeal, hey, make sure you don't solve this here. We cannot talk. Qutila al rasul Allah said, destroy is that person who tries to speak in the seer by guessing. That person who is intoxication of this world, he became negligent of something else that is coming. What is his condition? 
when someone says to him, are you not scared of the year after? He mocks at it and he says, yasaluna ayyana yomuzi. And the only thing you know is qiyama, qiyama. When is this qiyama going to take place? Allah tawarqala answers, yawma hum ala jnari yuttalun. That the day when he will be brought on the fire. On that day, the angel will take the seat. Do who is in the heaven? All along you should say, where is it, where is it? He said, you want to take it again. Aadhan ladhi kuntum bihi tasta'ayroon. You need the surah, you know. And the surah takes men to the levels. That if you are not going to look to the sky, and you are going to allow the freedom of the rights of man to take you wherever it has to take you. What will be the result in the exact result we reach today? Allah Tawarqala in the surah on the next day says, Al-Adaka Hadithu Ghaythu Ibrahim Al-Mukramim Did the news of the guests of Ibrahim Alayhi Salaam not come to you? That is such a discussion which today the world has said it is not allowed to speak loudly about. But no one can stop a man translating the Quran. As long as the Quran will remain in the world, the truth will remain. Who was the guest that came to Ibrahim alayhi salam? This will just be a translation now because time is up. You will understand who the guests were and you will understand what it happens if you allow yourself to go to the world. Allah Tawakkara says they came to him. They were angels. They made salam. He made salam, but he did not recognize them. Faraga ila ahlihi, so he went to his family. He brought an animal. He presented it to them, but they were not eating. Faqal ala ta'kulun, fa'aw jasa minhum khifa. He got a little worried. But who are the people? They said to him, relax. We are the servants of Allah. Then he got that. His wife on the other side was getting very worried. She could hear what happened. Fabashyaruhu bi ulamin alim. Very old at that time. She could not give birth. They said to him, Soon we are going to give you, you are going to be given a child. Look at this. This is what I said that when the winds of Iman blow, nothing can stop. One nation was now going to be destroyed, and another nation was going to be made. But Ibrahim alayhi salam's son, it was his half alayhi salam, the entire Bani Israel, and so many Ambiya were going to come out on one side, Iman. And on the other side, the nation of Lut are going to be taken into the Dead Sea. In today you will see the Dead Sea also and you will hear of Musa and Isa the children of Ibrahim They said to him, you will get a child soon, this half alayhi salam. His wife came out, first she was behind, when she heard his angels, she came out talking. She said, why are you talking about, can I get a child? For Sokka's wajha, she like sucked herself, she said, me so old. They smiled the way and said, Kadari, when Allah wants something to happen, no one knows. May Allah bless me and you in the next half of the future. But then Ibrahim alayhi salam said, but you will never come for that. Qala fama khadbukum ayyu al mursaloon. He said, you are definitely came for something much more important. They said, we have been sent to a nation which are Mujrim, a nation which are criminals. Listen to the Juma of Quran, the world will never be able to ban the Arabic recitation of Quran. Although in some countries even translating the verses now is regarded as a crime. They said, we have been sent to a nation who are criminals. لِنُرْسِلَ عَلَيْهِمْ حِجَارَةً مِنْ قِيمٍ we have been sent to pelt them with stones. Musawwamatan on each stone, the name of the one is meant for has been written. فَوَقْرَجْنَا مَنْ كَانَ فِيهَا مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ We will make sure first we will take out the believers of that town. فَمَا وَجَدْنَا فِيهَا غَيْرَ بَيْتٍ مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ But in that whole town you only find one family. That was the family of Ruth Ali Salaam. Only one family, meaning so terrible that town has become. What was the crime? The crime hit every house of that locality. Even the Luth alayhi salam from his wife, one wife was also involved in that person. She herself was not part of it, she was enjoying it. 
it was the fault of what the world today calls man to man, woman to woman. Homosexuality was known at that time later on as lawatat links to the people of Musa alayhi salam. Quran has given a better word, don't ascribe it to you, say it, ya no rijal. Musa alayhi salam said, Allah created for you all pure, are you going to a dirty thing? He said, I feel so. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Quran to qasam on the life of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. La'am muruka by qasam on your life. These people are so intoxicated because when the angels came, they came in the form of handsome men. The nation was so filthy in nature that this action is dirty. Man in the past, if he did a dirty action, he did it hiding. But the world today saw a time that whoever got involved in this action is now ready to march on the street and to say, We normal, you all have normal. They have been loudly to say it and it doesn't end there. It ends on the people of Lut, their tariqah, when they heard young boys have come as the guests of Ibrahim, of Lut, Allah subhanahu wa said they went running to the house, as though they were coming down a slope, meaning each one is in front of the other, I want, I want. Allah subhanahu wa said by the qasam of the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa this is intoxication. The world will see an intoxication. It is Quran that will announce prominence, helping Watarakana Piha Aya and we left in that village, we left a sign Lilladina Yafahun al Adab al Aleem for every person who fears a terrible punishment. You want to see that sign? It is called the Dead Sea. But how Shaitan made it? And whoever goes to the Dead Sea also goes there and he says this is the best picnic resort in the world. You'll go in the shops and you will see Dead Sea products. Put it on your face. That was the ocean on which the entire land of Allah. Allah left that water for the world. It is the only water in the world when nothing survives in that water. The Shaitani world will say the salt content is too much. That's why nothing can survive. The Imani world will say so much of Allah's land that everywhere else the ocean gives life to the world, this ocean gives death to things in the company. It was called the Dead Sea. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala left the sign for you. Whatever the world will say in the future, the rights of man and the rights of woman, the Dead Sea will remain to give a message that once upon a time there was a nation who also asked for the rights. What was the right? The angel came and said, We have been sent, and on every stone the name of the person has been pronounced. If Adab does not come in this world, there is another world that is coming. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the beautiful surah and the lesson of the beautiful surah. Wazariya Tiharwa, by the oath of the winds that are taking evaporation always. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow the winds of Iman to take us all. Me and my children, you and your children. May Allah make us the waters of the next era. And on the other side, there will be the people of you. And Allah has left a sign for the world. May Allah the world will protect us from all kufar that is coming in the future. Shaitan will never reach when he wants to reach. First time in love, me and you have been told, take your precaution. Take protection from Allah. Whatever if the aeroplane is up, it will never come down. Carry on making dua and making an effort to keep it up. Our, our forefathers made an effort because of which today me and you are sitting here. Me and you make an effort so that our children can also.